Victory International Church invites you to Breakthrough 2022 with the theme, Miracles, coming up from Tuesday 21st to Sunday 29th May 2022. It's 5 p.m. daily, except Thursday, which is 12 noon, ministering as Pastor David Ibiyome, guest minister, and your host, Bishop Taiwo Adelapun, and other anointed men of God. Venue is Rehoboth Cathedral, Oluyole Estate Extension, Ibadan, and all our social media handles, Facebook forward slash Victory International Church, Rehoboth Cathedral and on YouTube, Victory Media, Rehoboth Cathedral. Your miracle awaits you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to welcome you this Saturday night to walk from the Lord, where we'll be worshiping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords tomorrow morning. I want to invite you to Rehoboth Cathedral. 6 30 a.m. is our first service. 8.30 is the second service and the third service is at 10.30. We look forward to see you in one or all of these. And in the evening, we have the uh, communion service by 5 p.m. Looking forward to see you there. Building a blessed family, a strong home, requires work from your hand. And we have seen some things that God requires from you. And I want to, us to look at the virtue of patience. Impatience have driven some women out of their matrimonial home. They can't endure. And they have lost their placement. It's a virtue that is required for building a lasting home. The Bible says if we suffer with him, we shall also reign with him. If you are not ready for the suffering, you are not ready for the reigning. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 12. The true word of relationship that it has passed through tests and trials and still stands strong. The Bible says in James chapter 5, verse 11, it talks about the patience of Job and the end of the Lord. You know, the wife of, of Job, Job canceled him in Job 2 to 9. He said, Cause God, why you have to receive it? You intend it. Cause God and die, and die. The worst that God can do for you is to kill you. But what's what the answer of, of, of Job? You are speaking like one of the foolish women. If you don't learn to stand in the time of trial together, you cannot celebrate together in times of triumph. It's a virtue required for those that want to build a blessed family. We saw that virtue in uh, Naomi, in Ruth rather, who follow Naomi. And we saw the end. The patience of Job produced double portion of everything he lost. The patience of Ruth made her to become part of the line of, line of our Lord Jesus Christ. Patience must have his perfect work in you. The Bible said that you might be entire lacking in nothing. You are not stupid when you are patient. In fact, you are stable. That's the mark of stability. There was a time things were rough at the, at the onset of my, my, my marriage. And somebody advised my wife to leave the house. She said, no. We are struggling together. It's not that he's enjoying. We are, we are not. If she had left, things would have turned, uh, changed the way it has changed. And she will not be part of the joy. Please be patient, women. Be patient. When God is dealing with your husband, stand together. And you, if you can suffer together, you will also enjoy together. I pray for you today that every act of impatience in you dies. Job said that we wait all the days of aborted time on earth till my change comes. And this change came. Your change is on the way as you are patient. In the name of Jesus. Things will turn around for your home, for your children, for your husband, in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name. See you in church tomorrow. Make sure you come for any of the services in the morning or in the evening. I'll see you for the continuation of this message tomorrow night again. Bye for now.